Over the last several years, the Dallas Cowboys treat the free agent signing period like the bubonic plague. When it comes to spending large sums of money on talented players, the Cowboys are cheap. As I started before in a previous article about the Cowboys and their spending, this team is tighter than a Dixie hat band. If you know anything about a Dixie hat band, it's very tight. With each passing day of free agency, we watched helplessly as the Cowboys passed on elite, ultra-talented all-pro safety Earl Thomas, and Thomas wanted to play for the Cowboys, Landon Collins, Adrian Amos, HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, and LaMarcus Joyner, just to name a few, but after the smoke cleared and teams had paid handsomely for the aforementioned free agent safeties, the Cowboys zeroed in on two key free agents slot receiver Randall Cobb and strong safety George Aloka. In addition, the Cowboys signed defensive lineman Christian Covington and Kerry Hyder to free agent contracts. It's Cobb's and Aloka signings that were the most impressive, but Cobb's signing is seen as a high reward deal because the Cowboys paid Cobb only $5 million for one season. Wow, now that's a bargain, with the signing of those players and a few others, the Cowboys roster is built for the long haul. When I say long haul, that translation means a successful season is on the horizon because of the significant free agent signings to fulfill must-needed positions. Plus, Dallas retained their own players like Jemai Zolawale, Cameron Fleming, Tavon Austin, and LP. Laduser. Further, Dallas is rumored to be in trade discussions with Miami Dolphins defensive end Robert Quinn. Even running back CJ. Anderson is rumored on the team's radar. When you combine all of these signings, future signings, with an experienced team that won the NFC East in a playoff game last season, Dallas will be lethal on both sides of the ball. Cobb gives Dallas defense an explosive weapon to go along with Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, Alan Hearns, Tavon Austin, Noah Brown and the Mr. Reliable Jason Witten. Cobb is the difference maker because he can play in the slot and on the outside with the ability to take a 5-yard slant or post route to pay dirt. Also, the speedster serves as a safety blanket for Dak Prescott. Cobb's presence has made Doc's job easier and forces opposing defenses to pick their poison either stop the run or get beat by the pass. The offense already has one of the best offensive lines in the league with all-pro center Travis Frederick returning after being sidelined all of 2018 with Gillian Bear syndrome. The offense boosts the NFL's leading rusher in Ezekiel Elliott, and the quarterback with the most fourth-quarter comebacks since 2016 in Doc. As an added bonus, this young bunch is hungry for a Super Bowl. Dallas offense has depth and gives offensive coordinator Kellen Moore plenty of options to work with. As good as Dallas defense played last season as a top-10 unit, it had a glaring weakness in its secondary, specifically at the strong safety position. SS Jeff Heath is capable of landing a big hit or intercepting a ball when least expected, but he's mediocre at best most of the time making him better as a reserve and special teamer. That's about it. Too many times Heath had a took a bad angle on a player was burned like toast in coverage. But Aloka is an upgrade from Heath and is a good complement to free safety Xavier Woods. Aloka has recorded 359 tackles and 9 interceptions during his NFL career. Aloka isn't an all-pro like Thomas but he fits the bill and solidifies the back end of a young and up-and-coming secondary, plus he's tall and long at 6'4". With the secondary set for now, Dallas linebacking core is beyond scary and problematic with Jalen Smith and Leighton Van Der Esch. Veteran Sean Lee is good backup when healthy and good teacher, leader for Smith and LVE. The defensive line is good but will be more than better whenever war daddy Demarcus Lawrence reaches a long-term contract with Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones respectively. Dallas defensive line has some really good players like Malliot Collins, Tyrone Crawford, and Antoine Woods to complement Dallas' best defensive player. Next, the truth behind the Demarcus Lawrence trade rumors from the very top to the bottom of its roster, this team is positioned to make a successful run in the postseason. More importantly, the free agent signings allows Dallas to draft back best available players, rather than need-based positions, because the Dallas Cowboys have made the right moves in free agency, this team is ready for the long haul and then some.